this time we actually stand up for the reading of the word. Reading John, the ninth chapter, verses one through seven. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? That he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither that this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And I must work the works of him that sent me. Why is yet day? The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus said, spoken, he spit on the ground and made clay a spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is interpreted sent. And he went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. Gracious and almighty God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, this morning, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your tender mercy. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, for how good you've been to us, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for our down sitting and our uprising, Heavenly Father. Yes. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, here in City Grove this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Let your anointing, Heavenly Father, come in the building, Father. Yes. yes. In your mighty name, Jesus. Strengthen, Heavenly Father, we can torn down, Heavenly Father, build us up and make us strong, Lord, in your name, Father. Amen. And we be so humbly, Heavenly Father, so mission to give your name the praise, Heavenly Father, yes, for all the Lord. things you're doing for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, you in this sensitive world, Heavenly Father, Lord, right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, Heavenly Father, when we all stand in need of Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, yes, but yes. we're asking, Heavenly Father, you, you work, Heavenly Father, work, Heavenly Father, while it's yet day, Lord. Yes. Yes. Because we, we know, Heavenly Father, when night comes, no man can work, Lord. Yes, yes. But we do thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for all your grace, Heavenly Father, your mercy, yes, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. That you bless unto us, Lord. Yes. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, the bereaved family, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless the sick and afflicted, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord. Yes. Continue, Heavenly Father, you ever bless those, Heavenly Father, you ask for prayer, Lord. Yes, yes. Give them a mind, Heavenly Father, Jesus, to be able to say yes to your will, Lord. Yes. yes. And Lord, as you bless them, Heavenly Father Jesus, and you heal their bodies, Heavenly Father, oh, Lord, let them return to you and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because, Heavenly Father, you've been so good to us, Heavenly Father. Yeah, yeah. Continue, Heavenly Father, you have a blessing, Heavenly Father, with your blessing from on our Lord. Be yeah. blessed you as your name, be for your sake, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
mm -hmm. uh, putting away one of my cousins. So I'm asking prayer for me for that day. We the members of Cedar Grove Baptist Church would like to extend a warm welcome to our visitors this morning. We praise God for those who have never been in our midst and also for those who have come back. We know that the word of God will inspire you to return and that the word will encourage you this morning. You are welcome to hear praise God in spirit and in truth, lifting up the name of Jesus. We thank you and please know that you are always welcome to worship with us at Cedar Grove. Okay. All right, I had something to read, but I don't see it, so I guess I lost that. <laughs> today is God's treasure on earth. <clears throat> Every life matters, whether brief or long. We each sing a different but meaningful song. The life we are given was planned long ago by God in heaven, for he made it so. He whispered our name before we knew how much he would love us and all he would do. The stars in the heaven gives honor to him by shining his glory again and again. The hairs on our heads are numbered to see, and God has a plan for you and for me. He's strong in weakness and carries our pain, eases our troubles, forgiving our shame. Every life matters as God has expressed. Well, we are his children, the best of the best. We sparkle as diamonds in the eyes of our king. His treasures on earth, what a beautiful thing.
I didn't say he crossed over. But he let us, he let us know that everything. And he knows for a fact, because he knows the man that will make everything go right. Year or so, most of the messages have been telling Cornerstone and Cedar Road mm-hmm. to hold on. Because yeah. everything yeah. is going to be alright. Yeah. 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 Everything. Yeah. And God does things in ways that to us seems like, well, it had it put doubt yeah. in our heart and in our mind. Yeah. Because we're saying, but well, why did this person leave? Well, why did this have to happen? And why this happened? Uh-huh. But he's doing it for our good. Amen. Amen. I was telling the saints yesterday, I said, my, my subject was about trying to be like other people. Uh-huh. We're trying to pattern our lives after other people. Yeah. And I walked in the service this morning and uh, <coughs> Sister Yvonne said, oh, Pastor, I like the jacket. That's a nice jacket. And she said, You and Pops. And I, I kind of looked over at him. <laughs> and I kind of did a little joke. I said, The word of God says, Mark, the perfect man. <laughs> and I wish I would have thought about that in our message, in my message yesterday. Uh-huh. Mark, the perfect man. Instead yeah. of trying to mark, Everybody else has to be like everybody else yeah. because of their status yeah. and their money. Uh-huh. But their lives is dirty. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times because of the money yeah. and the status uh-huh. and the people that they know, uh-huh. they can hide the dirty part. Yeah. 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 But us who don't have, whenever we fall yeah. or sin, it's just open. Yeah, yeah. And I was telling them, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a person, I'm, I'm an open book. My wife gets mad, but you, you, you tell too much about your life. <laughs> I tell people about my life because the way I was to compare to the way I am now, yeah. I'm letting people know that if he can change me, Man. he can change anybody. Yeah. Yes, he can. Amen. Amen. And I'm on a lot of bad people. And now when they see me, it's, for some, you know, I, I, I kind of laugh and I kind of joke, you know, like, because right, when I get around them, they're like, what? Hold up, man. Because when I hung around them, you know how they, you know, most gangsters or whatever, thugs, they have a certain dress. Yeah. And they act a certain way, they walk a certain way. I didn't do that. Uh-huh. I wanted to be, I hate to say it, I wanted to be a thug. But I want to be like the old gangsters back like in the day where they wore the suits yeah. and that nice hats. I want to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so when they saw me, uh, and uh, was a few months ago, I, I did a, a, a wedding, my brother's uh, wife's sister, and I walked in, and I walked in, I, we got there, I thought kind of early. Well, it was real early. And I walked in, and I was tired. <laughs> and, and my wife said, why are you so tired? And then she said, oh, you're doing too much. <coughs> and at first I was like, man, this is crazy, man. I, I'm doing too much, man. I, but when I look after the fact, after everything goes on, I'm like, I'm, I thank God that I'm tired. And when I get to do what he told me to do, yeah. I can be fresh. Yeah. I can hear just what it's about, yeah. how the older thing, oh, I ain't walking church, I'm so tired. Oh, I got a headache, and then, and then thoughts when they walk in here or walk across the altar. Oh, I got strength. They just, how is that? Uh-huh. But when you build that relationship with him, yeah. Yeah. he makes you feel refreshed. Amen. So I got to the wedding, and I, I so I, I got there, and I said, well, honey, I'm just going to sit here and take a nap. And she said, okay, you know, I'm going to look around, and then I'll let you go. So I'm, in a, so she came and woke me up, because my nephew, who I haven't seen in about four years, uh, bring him to the car, I'm like, he knocked on the window, well, you don't even sleep. 
Somebody, that's a weird feeling. So I was thinking, and I see this big tall guy with a beard and all this. And I'm thinking he kind of asked for some benefit. I said, I ain't got nothing. And I have a tendency, uh, you know, when I see people or something, I just move. Leave me alone. So I was sleeping. I said, I ain't got nothing. He's like, oh, uh. I'm like, oh. It's me, man. I'm like, Man, if you don't move, man. I'm thinking that now, you know, he's trying to find a way because I was in the place where they said, hey, hey, bro, we, you know, we brothers, man. We got to help the brothers. Like, don't I know you from back in the day? And did you go to this school? I'm like, no, you're fishing. You're trying to find out if I went to the school so you said that you knew me so you where I'm from. So I, my, my guard is always up. So he kept saying, oh, come on, man. I said, Man, move, man. <laughs> so I unlock the door. I'm trying to, I'm about to put the door up on him. Oh. He says, this is Damari. I said, oh, nephew. <laughs> nephew. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, man, I ain't been, you know, I ain't seen him in a long time. I know I ain't been to church. I want to come and this and that. And I was just so happy to see him. But when I walked inside, I walked into a wedding. And I know that a lot of Thugs. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like you know, the teenagers in the 20s or whatever. I ain't even about the 40s. I ain't even about the 50s. I'm talking old, old me. Okay. Sagging it. Like, oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, I don't know what I'm walking into. <laughs> the young lady, I know her. She's like a. I call her my sister because of my sister-in-law and very close to the family. But in my mind, I never knew her, her husband, her fiance. So I said, I don't know this guy. So I walk in here, I don't, all I see is a lot of red, you know, that's blood. And I, then I see over here, they got the blue on. One guy had a blue rag, a bad dad, a tie. I said, oh, oh wow. they were really. <laughs> In a few minutes, it's gonna be. So I'm like, they gonna say, "Well, you the pastor, so you gotta come in the middle." You got. I said her name, she's a girl. Say, you know, I'm, and my wife said, "What are you doing?" I said, "Me, I'm trying to get myself together." Hey, she's not knowing, but I'm like, I go to the bathroom, and I'm, I'm in a mirror, like, Lord, I did you, and I'm sprinkling water on my face. You know, I'm still trying to sleep, and I'm like, let me get myself together. And God walks in. Mm. It was up, blood. I said, oh, Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, because you can't say the wrong thing. And I'm like, Yes, sir. I'm, I'm blessed, sir. I'm blessed. Highly favored. He's like, yeah, me too, blood. I said, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> then I was like, Hurry up, get the water off my face and get my stuff together. Let my tap in the bathroom. I said, Oh, go back. He said, Are we all right? I said, Yes, sir. I'm moving fast. Man, I need you to pray for me, blood. I said, I, 
Yes, sir. I don't mind praying. I don't mind praying. <laughs> and then I pray, and he, he's, now he's laughing, talking about old times. I said, some some people say I did remember, but I didn't want to go back that far. <laughs> and, you know, and so I'm coming out, the brother said, hey, hey, come on, what's up, man? He said, man, oh, you, 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 you remember this one? No, I don't. But I'm walking to my attention, and I'm walking around, and then I got know all these other guys coming up. Hey, man, what's up, cuz? I'm like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, and I looked up, all the guys are calling me, and I'm like, yes, sir, yeah. And I'm like, and my wife said, Like, you know I want to be around those people. <laughs> I never want to be around those people. I say, they know I'm a pastor, me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I thank God that everything that I've been through yes, and how yes. He changed me, I want yes, everyone, yes, you know, yes, I want everybody yes, to see yes. that you don't have to stay in that That's right. way of life. That's right. And, and, and my uncle told me years ago, he came to preach revival. And he told me and my cousin, we were like crazy young men. And he said, he called us up to the altar, because they was having an altar call. He said, I sat in the back. My, my dad was a pastor. He was well known in LA, well, all over. <laughs> California, back east, well known. And I didn't want to be in that realm. So I tried to be tough, tried to look tough. All of that, and he came and told me, he said, Come here, nephews. I got something to tell you all. And you know how they pray for you when they give you a little talk? He said, I understand you trying to your uncle. My father had, it was, it was five boys and two girls. And the youngest uncle was one of the toughest, were considered one of the toughest guys in LA. And so we tried to pat our life after him. But not knowing, as I said, I never saw. Where he was a druggie. I never saw the alcoholic part. I never saw that. I just saw that he walked around the street and everybody was killing him. I, that's what I want. He got respect. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. And when I later on I started to see the bad part where he was strung out. Mm -hmm. I walked on the street, he laying out on the street. And I'm like, uh, man, leave me alone. Get out of here, huh? And, I, and it hurted me. Man. It hurt me. So a lot of times we're 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 sit, we walk. Oh, I want to be like that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, I wish I had that money. And, I, and then when you talk to them, they don't tell you that bad part. Yeah. 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 They don't tell you how they suffer. That's yeah. right. <clears throat> because a lot of them don't want you to be like them. Mm -hmm. They want that fame. They want yeah. that recognition. Yeah. And. The word of God says, Mark, the perfect man. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. And all we see in, in, our, in our minds, because the fame, the, the fortune, yes. and the, you know, all of the good stuff. Oh, well, he, he's, he's a good man. But one thing I, I know for a fact, I was working at Wells Fargo, and I was, I was sitting there. We used to have a lot of board meetings. And one guy said, to be in this type of position where I am, you have to step on people. Amen. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, step on people. That's how you get to the top. And he said, your mama, your daddy, your family, your wives, some of them, you got to purpose. Because some of them are in your way. Yeah. And I said, what? Wait a minute. And start to read a whole lot of stuff about some of the rich people. Yeah. Some of them lied. Amen. Some of them cheated. Yeah. Some of them robbed some of their friends. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be on top. Yeah. And now they're sitting back. Kind of, you know, some of, them, some of their friends, they've been going for years, childhood friends. And they have hurt it and cheated them. Yes. And now they sit back with all the wealth yeah. by themselves. By themselves. Yes, yes. By themselves. Yeah. Oh, man. This one guy said, man, got a, got a whole lot of room. I got so many women. And I said, but you constantly, you know, in my mind, 
females, the majority of our females go right there, they're high maintenance. Amen. So the money that you have, you constantly put out. You Amen. constantly pay Amen. to keep them happy. Amen. Just to make you happy. Yes. And then when they leave, you still lonely. Yes. You still by yourself. Yes. Then you gotta go back to the same thing. Put money out. Yes. Just to be happy. Yes. But I found out I know somebody that even when I'm broke, yes. 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 even when I have a little money, uh -huh. he still can make me happy. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. Right. I was telling St. Jesse, I said, I thank God for my wife. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> my first wife that I had, my first wife. <laughs> It's my first wife. And I tell everybody, when you get married at a young age and people don't, counseling is needed big time. Yes. Yes. You think you don't need it, but you need counseling, but you really don't understand the marriage life. Yes. And the way things are now, uh -huh. brothers, men feel like, hey, I'm the boss. Yes. I'm big. You do what I tell you to do. That's the kind of mentor that I had when I first got married. Yeah. And then she was saying, you ain't gonna tell me what to do. Yeah. I'm just not. Yeah. It was just yeah. power struggle. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. And I thought I knew, but I didn't. Yes. And I was in the house of a happy couple, but I didn't pick it up. Yeah. But I picked it up, but I didn't use it because it was church. Yeah. I kept it was church. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Because mm -hmm. I saw the outside, the other, the, the flame and the fort out there. Yeah, I want to be the man. I want to mm -hmm. tell them what to do. Is. And it was hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I come and said, Lord, show me yeah. the right woman. Yeah. 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 When, when I go search and look, I'm coming to you so you can let me know that this is the right woman. Yeah. 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 And <laughs> Mind you, I should have married my wife now, first lady, yeah. <laughs> the first time. Yeah. I, 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 I should have. Yeah. But sometimes you're, we're so stubborn, yeah. and we want to do things our way. Yes. Yeah. Because it doesn't look good, or it's plain. Mm -hmm. Or everybody said, well, you know, she was known as church girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy Roman. Bored, uh -huh. ain't got no life. Uh -huh. That's what she was known as. And I didn't see none of that. Uh -huh. I thought that she was cute. Uh -huh. She was ambitious. Uh -huh. And she had a good head on her shoulder. Uh -huh. So I said, but hey, that's what I want. Uh -huh. You know, you know how they say, that's what I can take home to mom. Amen. The other ones you, you can't take home. But uh -huh. well, this one I can take home to mom. Mind you, mama said, that's your wife. Uh -huh. So that turned me off right there. <laughs> mama said, that's, that's why you're going to marry her. Uh -huh. from, from, from when she was, you know, she was born, I, I already knew. I, I'm, I'm like, that's what you said. Uh -huh. but, but being stubborn, uh -huh. you lose a lot of happiness many years of your life. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God says stubbornness is a sign of witchcraft. Yeah. That's what the word says. I'm not what the word says. And when I hear that as a child, I'm like, man, my dad, he just let throw stuff together and try to scare the saints. But when you read it for yourself, that's what the word says. Still nakedness is a sign of witchcraft. Everybody wants things their way. And the way is Everybody, I feel we should go this way. Mm -hmm. I feel it's this. I feel it's that. But I remember years ago, and it was preached here by Nichols. I remember Bishop Broaddus, uh, probably about the first two weeks over there, he preached on this message. And I, some people were about the woman with the issue of blood. Uh -huh. I, we all know the story. Mm -hmm. And we know, well, we, some of us know, or should know, that during that time, when you, a woman had 
you know, her monthly or whatever, she couldn't be around people. That, that custom was she had to be away and then come when she, everything's fine, she comes back around yeah. the people. So she couldn't be around people. So, mind you, 12 years. 12 years. She's bleeding. Hemorrhaging. 12 years. So, which means that she couldn't really be around people for 12 years. But when I was there doing my stuff, doing everything else, whatever, my uncle told me, you have people in your way Amen. that are hindering you. Yes. You have people in your way that is constantly drawing you to them. And you think you're strong, but you're not strong. Mm -hmm. They're constantly crowding you mm -hmm. to where you can't see. Mm -hmm. uh, Bring about Zacchaeus. He was short as that, and he couldn't see. But he found any kind of way to where he could be seen. Here I am. Mm -hmm. But we are in this crowd of people to where we're stuck. And this came across my mind a few days ago. Move. Get out of my way. Move. Yes. Get out of my way. When you get up, my dad said, when you get tired, I mean, really get tired, when you really want to change, we said we want to change, we said we want to help, but when you really want, when you're tired of yourself, you would do anything. Something you say, man, I don't care what he said, I, I, I ain't doing that. I, no, I, I ain't doing it. I'm, I'm not going to fast. I'm not going to do this. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be me. That's old. That's, that's what they did way back in the day. But one day, God will get to you yes. to where you yes. will hate yourself. Yes. You will hate the things that you're doing. Uh -huh. Why you sitting there looking at Billy Bob and their wives? You start to look at your life and you start to hate what you've been doing for years. Amen. I saw myself, I said, all these years, now mind you, I, I wasn't doing the game banging stuff for years. It felt like years. But when my wife first lady got pregnant, that's when I stopped. Because the things that I was doing to people, I don't want that to happen to my wife, or my children, or my child. I, I just knew she was having a boy, so I was like, I don't, I don't want my son to be in this lifestyle. I definitely don't. And a, a girl, a man having a daughter? Oh, you talking for Texas. Little boys playing with her. Wait, hold up, man, back up. You know, you got the little kids with the Nah, get your head off her. You want to get little? Nah, 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 nah. Get your hands off her. <laughs> but when she had my daughter and she was sick, my, my, my wife kept saying, I can't be with you. I don't that lifestyle. I, I, I can't be with you. I kept her, oh, yeah, Jesus, you are. My she was, she was saying, Kill, move. Leave me alone. Get out of my way. You're hindering me. Yeah, yeah. I could have said, no, I'm not. When she had my daughter, God showed me, oh, you are the hindering. You, you hindering her. You cause this problem. I could have said, well, no. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody kept saying, well, you know, you know, you, you gotta be the man, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be the father. Don't tell me what I got to do. I already know what I got to do. Mm -hmm. I just got to find how to get these things done. Yes, that is true. Like this morning, Sister Yvonne said, Josh, bring me two jobs. I understand. Two, oh, yes. three. God is a Jamaicans. Uh -huh. have, I have one life. Four jobs. Uh -huh. Four jobs. Yes, sir. Just to try to make things come together. Amen. Amen. Like I said, I'm in. My wife is high 
I made it. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. But I, don't, I don't want a woman who just don't care, ain't fixed up, and care, and just, no. I want her to look fine, pretty, how do you want to call it? If I look at my, my neighbor, I call her, I call her my life, and I call her beautiful. Because to me, she can have pigtails on her belts. She's beautiful to me. That's to me. She can gain weight, yeah. lose weight. Yeah. Still beautiful to me. Yeah. One, of, one of the reasons I liked her in America is because she was skinny. Oh. Man, I'm skinny. And I said, man, the girl that I used to date back in the day, she was light skinned. Most guys like ice skinned woman. She had real long hair, light. You know, she looked like a white woman. Uh -huh. But she was black. Uh -huh. I said, ooh, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> And I went away for about a few, three months. Back uh, east, come back. She kept wearing sweats. I said, can't see the shape no more. I don't want to see the shape. Why are you wearing all this sweat stuff? Then I started looking around at the, the aunties and the mom. I mean, they run into the car. 
Like you're a celebrity. I said, Nate, I was just saying, this is how I used to be. No, no, you ain't, that don't used to be. They <laughs> still, you know, coming around you, whatever. I said, I'm not like that no more. So one of the things I had to do was to pull away. Amen. Pull away. Stay away. Uh-huh. You know, they, they still my friends. No, they're not my friends. Mm-hmm. I know them. I know of them. Mm-hmm. But that's no more me. Mm-hmm. The law says you're guilty by association. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So if I keep hanging around with sinners, people who drink, smoke, and everything else, mm-hmm. even though I don't smoke and don't do those things, yeah, I will be categorized mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I'll be the pastor that probably smoke, drink, Amen. clubbing, mm-hmm. even though I don't do it because I'm hanging around them. Yeah. So I went through. One day I said, move, get out of my way. Uh-huh. I can't say it. You, excuse me, get, get out of my way. <laughs> but you know when you're you timid, Amen. people look at you like, man, and then sometimes they say, oh, so I'm pushing me out the way. Uh-huh. But I had to have that mindset that I was so determined yes. to please God. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. Mm. She did not care. My shit fucking none. She what about that? She pressed her way. Amen. Which means you say, move. Yeah. Move. Uh-huh. I need to be healed. Yes. And she knew in her heart and her mind that all I got to do is just touch. Yeah. Just he didn't have to say nothing to me. Amen. Then I said, "Baby doll, you healed. Yeah. You know, in the name of the yeah. Father." Then yeah, no. Uh huh. I've been suffering with so many years. All I got to do is just touch. Yeah. The word God said the heal. So she didn't touch his skin. Uh huh. So the clothes. Yeah. She told them, in my, I'm putting in my mind, move, get out of my way. Uh-huh. Well, you ain't supposed to be here, I don't care. Yeah. I need help. Yeah. Yes, yes, Lord. Mr. Ross reads a message one, 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 uh, one weekend. How bad do you want it? Yeah. Yeah. How, how bad do you really want that connection, relationship with God? Yes. We have to get out of this thing where the pastors and everybody will try to tell you, this is what you do, you do this, whatever. I used to hear this all the time. Amen. And one day my dad said, everybody has a unique way of worshiping God. Amen. Everybody has a unique way of connecting with him. Yes. And he said, son, I can't tell you how to stay close to him. I can't tell him. Give you pointers on how I did it. Yes. But your life is totally different from my life. Amen. God's gonna take you to a whole other place. Yes. To a place where I've never been. Amen. I said, oh, I can't. But if you really want this, this spiritual life, it's not when I come here on Sunday, I'm holy, I'm this. No, 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 no. This is a permanent. Yes, yes. It's not, it's, there is no part-time saints that get full-time benefits. Yeah, okay. There are no part-time saints yes. that get full-time benefits. Amen. Amen. God doesn't work that way. No. Amen. He tells you, I give my all, I want you to give your all. Amen. But what he does say, he, he, he tells you to at least try me. Amen. Yes. yes. And, and you know, we say, if you take one step, he'll take two. Yes. If you do this, he'll do that. Mm-hmm. But he wants you to continue that walk. Amen. Yes. It doesn't, it, it doesn't stop here in this building. No. Mm-hmm. When you live out of this building, you still will be a disciple. All right, all right, all right. This is the way I am. Y'all know I'm a Raider fan. And I represent Raiders all the time, 24 7. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> and I don't care 
if Kansas City Chargers, <laughs> I don't care who it is, I represent my team. I'm a true fan. <laughs> now, with Christ, my mom told me, same way you're a true fan for your teams, you have to be a true fan for him. Amen. Now, this is Cedar Grove. Mm -hmm. If I'm a member of Cedar Grove, I have to rep Cedar Grove. Amen. Wherever I go, hey man, fuck, fuck up. Yeah, but Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove t shirt, Cedar Grove, whatever. So that's what I do in the corner store. When people see me, I went back east and Cornerstone, uh, my wife had jerseys made for the Saints. We all had them type of, we had football jerseys, basketball jerseys, baseball, all them type of jerseys. I went there to another church and I walked in there with my Cornerstone stuff on. Uh, Man, but well, you know, this is, I, okay. But I'm representing where I'm from. Amen. When I go out in the community, mm -hmm. when we go to Pickleroy, I represented my church. And when it happens to see the growth, uh -huh. when I go out, it ain't so much weight. Cornerstone, Saturday, Sunday, see the growth. Amen. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. If I'm in, I'm in. Amen, right. <laughs> yeah, because I want people to come in and to worship. Amen. So when I tell you about my past, yeah. it's not only just. This is what God did for me, and I'm a pastor cornerstone. This is what God did for me, and I'm a disciple. Amen. So wherever I go, yes. I rep. Mm. I represent hard. Yes. Just like that, as I said, people represent their teams, uh -huh. they represent their job. Yes. Do the same thing for here. Yeah. Yeah. Let people know that, hey, it ain't dead. Amen. It's not done. It's reborn. Mm -hmm. And it takes time. It's a cycle. Amen. Now everybody don't want to be part of a cycle. Amen. But I guarantee you, once the cycle is finished uh -huh. and flourished, the ones who's in there, it ain't done going on. Uh -huh. Laughing and mocking. Yeah. And you know, this is my trend. I'm part of this. I'm part of and you, that was my seat. That was it was your seat. Amen. Now you got a whole, what, five, six rows of people. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. yes. So you come in here and think, well, that was my seat. You're going to find somebody that still got a little thug in there and say, you better move <laughs> and get out of my seat. Uh -huh. So hold on Amen. to what you have. Yes. Don't sell out. Amen. Press your way to see the growth. Yeah. My dad told me you take care of home first. Yeah. You, you take care of home first. Yeah. And he, he was telling us, my mother, me and my brother, about our home, but he talking about God's home. Yeah. My dad told my mama for years, I will not buy a house until I finish taking care of God's house. Man. He read it for years. And my mom kept pressing him about buying a house, and they bought a house. And my mom was happy, but my dad was like, yeah, we got a house. But in his mind, I, I still got to, I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't finish God's house. He kept my mom kept saying, well, honey, I want to do this. He said, we can't do nothing until we finish the work. Because mm -hmm. he wanted the full time benefits. Yeah. Anytime we call God, he, guess what? He's listening and he's there. Yeah. And he wants to help and give you anything that you, you need and want. Yeah. But he knows some of us, we're not representing him yeah. or see the growth full time. Right. Some of us are like some of those, those little thugs on the street. When, when you're 
in your, in your neighborhood, oh, I'm hard, I'm bad, oh, yeah, I'm this. But then as soon as you step out into another neighborhood, you fix your clothes up, whatever rag you was carrying or whatever, that's in your pocket. You, no, if, 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 if you were part of that, be a part of that 24-7. Yeah. Love your church. Amen. Yeah. The only way is, is, is the church is going to grow and flourish and all work together. Amen. Yes, we need you. And then if you, if you don't want to be here, guess what? The church is still going on. Amen. church is not going to fall because somebody left Amen. and somebody's upset. It's not going to fall. Because this is God's house. Amen. So if anybody's in your way or the word of God, he said, you can have much faith to the point where I can tell this mountain uh -huh. move yes. and it will move. Yes. If you got much faith, you can tell a mountain to move. Uh -huh. Those other little small obstacles are in our way. There's nothing. Amen. So it makes me wonder, do you really want those things to move? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Some of us want to hold on to some of those things. Yes. Or be a part of that crowd. Mm -hmm. I'm in with this. One of the things that I told the saints, we are marked. Amen. We have a mark on us. Yes. God has a mark on us. And the mark was there way before we was born. Amen. Way before we were born. Yes. So it's like this. It's like we are all squares. Mm -hmm. The shape of a square. And the world is a triangle. Mm. Have you, I, I know when I was a child, they had this, this little, these little tests for a child or, or whatever. They try to have these different shapes and try to put the, you try to put the, the right square or the right shape into mm -hmm. the right you know, box or whatever else so we see how smart you are or whatever. But that's how we are. We are the square. The world of the triangle. Mm -hmm. And the world is trying to force us into this square. I mean into this triangle. Now, as you keep trying to put that square in that triangle, yeah. it eventually loses its shape. Yeah. Because you're constantly trying to force it in there. You're forcing it and it's chipping away. That's what's happening to the ones who are trying to, well, hey, you know, I, 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 you know these are my, I, I, I just want to be a part of it. It's not going to work. Amen. Yeah. And they know it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So all they're doing is just abusing you. Yeah, okay, you want to be a part of this? This is what you got to do. You got to go through. You got to suffer. And they come to trying to force you into the group. And you're forcing yourself. And then, in the outcome, you still never are trying. Mm -hmm. So, a square, after you start pushing all around on the same, all around the sides, that's what happens. Nobody becomes a circle. Mm -hmm. That circle still won't fit in that triangle. So you are constantly being beat and bruised up when you really don't have to. So anything that's in your way, push it out your way. The word of God says, tell it to move. So God can finish doing his work in us to make us better than what we are. And he will do it. Because he never go back on his word. God bless you. I hope someone got something out of this and from this to where it'll help you through your walk with Christ. God bless you.